Hi everyone, Father Lamb here. Today is Wednesday, November 23rd. And uh, guess what? Today's topic is gonna to be, since tomorrow's Thanksgiving, gratitude. I know we hear a lot about gratitude and if you hear that word come out and you're thinking to yourself, oh no, not gratitude, then that's when we really need to hear about gratitude or at least allow it to seep into our hearts. We had a wonderful weekend. The men's conference was awesome. Uh, one of the speakers, uh, Devin Schott, actually uh, spent the weekend at the rectory here, stayed here, and uh, gave a talk at our parish here at Queenship on Sunday night. And uh, it's just really great to have him around. And also, he spoke about uh, gratitude on a couple occasions in his talks. You know, Gratitude, as I've said many, many times, is one way to get out of a bad spiritual place and get into a better one. You know, gratitude, coming from the Latin gratis, which means grace or gift. We have so much to be thankful for that everything in life really is a gift. And even the struggles we go through, of course, we're not, when we go through the struggles, we're not like grateful. We're like, oh gosh, why is this happening? When, how can I get out of this? But very often the struggles of life bring gifts with them too, if we're open to that. Said in a different language, it's really dealing with the cross of Christ and the crosses that each one of us sometimes have to carry. But it reminds me of an old parable that maybe you've heard, I might have said it a few years ago, uh, told the parable, but the, the parable was basically good news, bad news, who knows? And it's the parable of a, a farmer who had a very valuable horse, and the horse uh, one day just left the farm and just gone. Um, and people were coming around to the farmer saying, oh my gosh, that's terrible, it's really bad news. And all the farmer would say was, good news, bad news, who knows? Well, a few days later, the horse came back, followed by a whole bunch of wild horses. And everyone was rejoicing, saying to the farmer, hey, what great news. And all the farmer would say was, good news, bad news, who knows? With that, uh, his son, the farmer's son, got on one of the wild horses trying to break it in, and he was thrown from the horse, and he broke his leg. And people were saying to him, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about the bad news. And again, all the farmer would say was, Good news, bad news, who knows? Finally, the army came through and they were conscripting young men to join the army to fight in the war. And uh, because the son had a broken leg, he wasn't brought into the army. And everybody said, wow, that's good news. And all the farmer would say was, good news, bad news, who knows? And that's a parable that could go on forever, you know, in our lives. That so often you and I, we all go through tough times. And, um, is how we look at them. That very often the toughest times of our lives do in time bring a gift with them. And so as we stay with it and pray through it, we can say along with that farmer, good news, bad news, who knows? Maybe this Thanksgiving isn't gonna be all that you want it to be. Maybe a certain person in your family has died since last year. You're gonna be feeling that. Uh, maybe some people can't make it home. I don't know, we all have different situations. But let's be grateful for what we do have, for the people we will sit down at table with and enjoy their time and make that the most. There's a reason for all the things that happen in our lives, even if we don't understand them as we're going through them. So let's ask God to give us a grateful spirit, a grateful heart for all the things that he's done for us and given to us, because everything in the end is a gift. And if something's going on, it's a little bit of a struggle, just say along with the farmer. Good news, bad news, who knows? God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving.